Okay, good morning. Welcome to the brand new video of the Target Individual Program. Target Individual Experience. So, again, I uh, did a quick video last night uh, before I went to lay down and eventually I fell asleep. Heavy bombardment yesterday of noise campaign, you know, police sirens, such and such. Again, this morning, as I got up within a few minutes, of waking up to start with the uh, noise campaign again and uh, also I went on Facebook and noticed that you know I guess people have been scrolling down my timeline because they're like liking stuff and sharing stuff that I post years ago particularly when it comes to uh, you know certain things right certain issues that have happened within uh, communities and where black people live and European people live. One in particular with Dr. Peter Bergen, right, who from the you know, psychiatrist and from the 1970s has been exposing what these so called highly educated, highly honored people who they call honorable white people, these neurologists who they called the pioneer of neuroscience okay and the atrocities that they've been committing again getting awards and pat on the backs and saying good job you know while targeting uh human beings and particularly uh black boys within urban cities okay so this is Again, nothing new, as I talk about Baltimore during the early 90s, the Department of Health and Human and Social Service involved in experimentation in terms of looking for, so they claim, looking for the so-called violent trait to see if black boys are predisposed to commit violence. Okay, but I think that was just a cover for the smoke screen. And what they were really doing in terms of uh, collecting DNA samples from black boys is actually in developing uh, weapons based on our DNA. Okay? And I'm going to tell you why. When you read about doctors in South Africa who are also working... Uh, I should say scientists in South Africa who was also working on DNA weapons or weapons based on your DNA to target a specific group of people a specific ethnic group okay it was targeted towards black people right so this is why like I said whenever they started hitting us with silent sound you know directed energy weapons for mind control particularly when they start targeting kids it is based off in my opinion also the DNA okay so not also being implanted but also based on your DNA and the book I just got was called uh, uh, controlling human beings for pol for political and uh, maybe I forgot the other part of it but it's by Dr. Nick Baggage and if you read it you'll understand how they use frequencies okay because everything see they have gotten to the point where we're moving into uh, medicine using in terms of healing uh, curing certain diseases using frequency based treatment okay and so when you start to see like i said the 23andme's you know being bought by private equity firms in which those within the government can have access to millions of people dna okay and again people never seem to think of the nefarious reasons that those within the government, law enforcement, security agencies want access to the DNA. See, they always claim it's about law and order, 
law enforcement, let me know some of the biggest criminals are in law enforcement, are within the United States government, their security agencies, the military. Okay, recently there was a report of two Americans who was arrested because they were trying to collect service members, military service members, medical records. Why? Why would Russia be so interested in U.S. military service pe persons' uh, medical records? Because again, you got to think broadly. Okay, and it is target people based on their DNA. Okay, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. You know, but like I said, too much of us, particularly European people, got their heads stuck in the clouds. I got their heads stuck up in the asses of racist Caucasian people that they can't smell the stink, right? The stink has become, you know, the normal scent for them, okay? So, you know, you got to understand these things, right? Using religion to recruit people, to manipulate people, and to participate in this targeting people based on their belief system or the fear of the Caucasians have when it comes to black people, particularly young black people, young black men in particular, uh, you know, so we got to understand that. Uh, anyhow, um, I will speak to you guys in the next video.